Hello, as you can see in the title of this video, I bought beauty products from various high-end and drugstore brands that are top rated according to many people's reviews and feedbacks. Worth trying, worth investing in, let's see. I decided to buy and give them a try as well to see if they really work well for me. Of course, you all have different skin types textures you know when it comes to skincare or cosmetic products but you'll know the result from me in the near future there's just a couple of products i want to share with you that i have already proven tested and found to be really really amazing so i hope you enjoy watching like subscribe if you haven't done so and if you have questions leave them in the comment section let's get started this is my number one skincare product, my most favorite, and I highly recommend it, the La Mer Renewal Oil. I've been using this for a very long time now. I love it. Done so many videos about it. I recommend it despite it being so expensive. I'm an old La Mer girl, and when it comes to facial skincare, this serum it does not only make my skin look more hydrated, but also glowier and more plumped up. I got a KISS USA Postcard Eyelash Extension Kit. I decided to stop going to the salon for extensions after so many years of using them because my lashes have become thin and short now. I'm using a treatment serum to grow them back and it's very expensive but hopefully this won't ruin my lashes again. This lasts for only 10 days or you can remove them using a cotton pad with remover. Unlike in the salon where the removal process is somewhat harsh and pulls out lashes gradually. This comes with wisps, band and seal, overnighter, and an applicator. This is DIY and I'm super excited to try it. I also have some extra wisps for more dramatic look and the variation is so extra wisps and this one is called lengthening with accents you can customize these lashes by the way the length of the so extra wisps are 12 to 16 mm while this lengthening with accents are 10 to 14 mm Depending on which color you choose, you can use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural line of baked pressed mineral powders for a number of different things. Cutting down on shine, evening out your skin tone, blurring pores, bronzing, and setting your foundation and or your concealer. So this is used on top of your makeup. Next, this e.l.f. Cosmetics Halo Glow Velour Loose Powder Pinky Puff. I'm gonna use this for setting hard to reach areas like the nose and eyes. It's for loose or pressed powder. I like the teardrop shape because it fits easily into these areas. I also got four pieces triangle velvet powder puffs. They are in black, cute, soft and washable as well. This one is a setting powder from Wet n Wild. I got it in the shade Translucent. I prefer Translucent than the banana because it's better for smoothing out uneven textures such as scarring, visible pores, bumpiness, or roughness. Setting powder by the way is used after makeup application before setting spray or as means of setting makeup on its own. It extends the length of time your makeup will last without smudging or budging. This one is made of high quality plastic, sturdy, and safe. It's also breathable and it's called the Camera Powder Puff Storage Box or Travel Portable Empty Air Cushion Puffs Container. It really is great for travel. You can also put your jewelry in here.
I have a lip product from Natasha Denona called I Need a Rouge Lip Crayon in the shade Emilia. This one is in natural satin matte finish. It is said to be hydrating, which I like, long wearing and waterproof, highly pigmented, lightweight and flexible as well as easy to apply. It can be worn alone or with a matching shade of lipstick like a red, meaning wear it as a lip liner or fill in your lips with it only or apply lipstick on top of it. Next, another lip product, the Fenty Pulsical Hydrating Lip Stain. If you remember, I swatched three of these in different shades before, and this is an additional purchase. I actually forgot this shade, so I ended up buying it late. The shade is my type. Again, this is bead resistant, high shine finish, hydrating and leaves behind a soft tint. The tint lasts all day. The formula has oil water with squalene. I'm also excited about this lipstick from Kiko Milano. It's the Unlimited Double Touch Liquid Lipstick in the shade 109 Strawberry Red. The color is set onto the lips for a result that lasts up to 12 hours. It is matte but this lip gloss gives the lips a bright and radiant finish. I've tried this in another shade before and I love it. It's long lasting, smudge proof and with a smooth gliding application. The shade, which is 110 Spicy Rose, a really beautiful pink shade. I've been loving lip stains lately, so I want to try what many people love, the Milani Color Fetish Hydrating Lip Stain. It's made with hydration-rich hyaluronic acid and plant-derived squalene. It claims to deliver 8 hours of stain power, hydration, and comfortable wear. 100% vegan, which is good. It's a little bit expensive for a lip stain, but I believe worth it. This shade is called Pink About It. Then this shade is, that's fire. This is the shade Rose Rising. I really love the Super Stay Matte Ink Liquid Lipsticks from Maybelline, New York. They are highly pigmented and last up to 16 hours, but I tried some for up to 8 hours only because I had to go home early. <laughs> it's waterproof, transfer proof, and the shade I got is 157. I also bought another Maybelline New York Super Stay Vinyl Ink Liquid Lipstick. It's in the shade Kin 125 and this shade was not available at the time I purchased my 8 or 9 vinyl lipsticks from them so when this became available I immediately got one. Love 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 these lipsticks. They are very easy to apply and long wearing like 16 hours based on their website. The Super Stay Vinyl Ink from Maybelline, New York is in the shade 30 Unrivaled. I love this color like a berry. I don't like applying a lip gloss on top of this lipstick because it breaks down easily.
I got two cosmetic products from the brand Romand. It's my first time. I'm not gonna swatch this anymore because you can probably see due to lighting. But this one is in the shade Lovely Flare 05. It's a lovely pink glitter with a mixture of purple sparkles. Densely shine on your eyes. You can just use this alone, apply wing eyeliner, mascara, and you're good to go. This is a Korean eyeshadow palette and it's from Roman. The Better Than Palette 07 Berry Fuchsia Garden Collection. I do appreciate the shades this has, the combinations of matte and glitters. I've learned that you can use your finger in applying the shimmer shadow to intensify the shine. I'm so excited to try this palette. I have here an eyeshadow palette ColourPop from their Bye Bye Brady collection. This color palette with mix of matte, metallic, glitter, and super shock formulas make it so fun and versatile to use. I love the pink, purple, and sparkling neutrals. Such a gorgeous palette, especially for your glam night out. This pressed powder shadow blends smoothly and evenly. Very pigmented as well. I really love the packaging. This one is a very popular drugstore blush palette from a British company called Makeup Revolution. I want to try it because they say the quality is good and it has all the blush colors I need in one palette. The price is reasonable. They are also pigmented and smooth. The name of the palette is Blush, Sugar, and Spice. I love that it has a combo of matte and shimmer. Shimmer for instant highlight and you can combine them as well. Another one from Maybelline, the Lasting Drama 36 Hours Gel Liner with Brush in black. This is waterproof, smudge proof, and glossy type finish. I love that it's safe for sensitive eyes and ophthalmologists tested. I bought this gel type because it's easier to apply especially when creating wing liners. I'm not sure though if I'm gonna use the brush that comes with it or just use nail art brushes which are definitely more precise. now let's go to makeup brushes i got an it cosmetic heavenly Lux complexion perfection brush number seven this is great for foundation and concealer that's why it has dual tips which i love based on website it gives a perfectly airbrushed look it's ideal for all skin types cruelty free and pro hygienic to the larger areas you can apply either foundation or concealer with this ultra plush fluffy end then use the micro end for precision application in smaller spaces like the under eye. Really a high quality soft brush. This is always sold out so I've waited for a long time to get this. This one is a little bit on the side of luxury. It's from the Hourglass and it's called the Hourglass Veil Powder Brush. This is designed to be used for powder application. It looks similar to the It Cosmetics, but the brush is softer. The small tapered side is shaped to set the under eye area, while the large rounded side is for all over application on the face, and both ends are supposed to pick up the ideal amount of loose powder and airbrush complexion. This brush is also great for those who suffer from allergies to animal hair based on their website. It is PETA approved, high grade, ultra soft Taclon bristles. Very soft and perfect for blush or bronzer as well. I'm sure I'm gonna love using this all the time. Ooh, it's raining again. This brush is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's their A18 Pro Brush Angle Chisler Brush. It's a large slanted contour brush to sculpt and define face. You can use it to apply both powder and cream products along the contour of your face with precision. For your cheeks, sides of the nose, and great for body as well. 
I also purchased five Morphe brushes. I'm so sorry for the quality of this. Portion of the video, by the way. I didn't notice that there was a problem while filming. I tried to fix it, but I failed and this is the best I could do. <laughs> I'm sure you will love these brushes as well, mostly for small eyes because I have small eyes. They are meant for uh, different applications. A Morphe 574, this pencil brush has a rounded tip for smudging lines and softly defining the outer V of your eyes. It can also be used to soften liner. The Morphe M456 is a petite brush, great for detailing, blending work. 433 is a tapered crease brush with a pinch rule that gives it the versatility either to be used on the flat side for shading or for seamless blending. 577 is rounded blending brush and it is a multitasking crease brush for transition colors and blending as well which is a tiny brush that can throw some major shade and handle the teeny tiny details the last brush is from Real Techniques and it's a setting brush. I want to use this for applying cream or powder highlighter along the cheeks and brow bones. It can also be used to set powder under the eyes or the contours of the face. It's an all-around brush. The price is very affordable. Oh, so cute. I'm sure some of you will love this makeup brush cleaning and drying tool. It looks like a bowl with handle. It's actually made of silicone so it won't damage or deform your brush bristles. You can fold it, expand, hang, whatever. Just put some warm water and make a brush shampoo or so. I love the color. It's really pretty. Let me know in the comment section what do you use in cleaning your brushes. This is another silicone makeup brush cleaner. Like the other one, you can put warm water and makeup brush shampoo to clean your brushes or soak your sponge. It's super cheap and easy to carry or store. It is such a cool tool. This item is really handy and useful for me and I'm sure you're gonna like it as well. It's a chargeable and portable storage box with mirror and LED light. The plastic film is intact so I'm not going to remove it yet. You can put makeup, skincare products, accessories, and many more. I love that the mirror is foldable with handle and you can attach or detach it. It comes with a USB. The size is 24.1 by 10.4 by 11.7. This storage box is so cheap and I'll be storing my Kiss Polscara in here. I'm going to use the mirror for my eyelash extensions. This portable cosmetic makeup brush storage bag or pouch is great for travel. It's waterproof because the material is nylon fabric. It has 12 slots for your brushes and some space for other beauty essentials. It looks durable but actually very affordable. I intended to buy a cheap case because the ones I use often get dirty during trips. Sometimes they get stained, accidentally fall, or even get lost. With this one, whether it gets wet or lost, it's okay because it's cheap. 